Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a Dusty Tomb Game installment of Playing Through Final Fantasy VII. I'm Justin Zagarra, with me here is my good friend Josh, Josh Branson, The man of few words, Go Branson. Josh, tell us about Final Fantasy VII. Final Fantasy VII, instant classic. Instant classic. Everyone has heard about it at least. Okay. But for those who haven't heard about it, uh, what kind of game is it? It's RPG. RPG. Japanese based, of course. So it's a Japanese RPG. Uh, seems to me to expect a long story. Uh, strategic gameplay, good character development, all that good stuff. Badass bosses. Badass bosses. Alright, well, kick us off. Let's go. So here we're going to start a new game. We're going to play through this. We're going to play all the way through. Here we go. A nice little credit opening here. Now, of course, for today's modern standards, the graphics are pretty crummy. Uh, yeah. Picks, you know, very blocky, but... We gotta remember, for the for its time, for the PlayStation One, this it was amazing. It's re it's revolutionary, pretty much, right? I mean, it was huge. Uh, for the longest time, it was the game with the greatest graphics of time. This is back when uh, Square Enix was known as SquareSoft. That's back when they kicked ass. Right now, they're a million. That's a different conversation. But <laughs> right now, they're kind of in the garbage of Square Enix. But whatever. This is back when they ruled the game. You know, they made the RPG. This is everyone was talking about. So Final Fantasy VII, real testament to that. Uh, huge fan favorite. For many reasons. Right there we have Aerith. A uh, very important character in the story. Okay. Yeah, this, I mean, like this, this sequence right here. Like these graphics at like these cutscenes. These are, these are huge at the time. Like that. There we go, they're pretty big. So, this is walking down the street. The motorcycle. I love the, I love the atmosphere. It's kind of like steampunk futuristic kind of thing going on. Yeah, yeah, it is cool. Hands out. You know, everyone's always talking about an HD remake of this game, mm -hmm. but I don't think it's ever gonna happen. It's, it's sad, though. It is. It is sad. They, I mean, it would definitely sell a lot. Like I said, the big uh, fan favorite among devotees. Right, right. So that would be huge. But you know, like I said, it's grants right now. They're not exactly where they should be. Who knows what they're doing with their life? They got sorted out. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So we're panning in. Got a train station. Here's the train. All right. Let's let's get started on this. Get started right now. Okay. All right. So we got some bandits coming out, just kicking some ass. Look at that. Look at that kick. There's a fat guy. There's a big guy, we'll get to him later. Gotta have your black character oh. on there. And here's you. Who's our main character? What's his name, Josh? Cloud. Cloud. Uh, so, of course, we're not gonna change his name. We'll just name him as Cloud. Because that's his name. You know, uh. That's very Japanese to name their characters strangely. Of course. Of course, now he just turns out as ex soldier. Ex soldier, because you do get the option to name eventually on. So, here we are. Take us off, Josh. Again, we're gonna hit some guys. gonna. Getting shot, but I get some, get some acting going. Hey man, I got this guy. Of course, now, if you, if you look down there at the in the blue box, which says time, the meter, this is how the gameplay sets up. The character's attack sequences are timed. And so, you basically, you taking turns, you're not really taking turns, I guess, are you, Josh? You can probably elaborate well, on this how, for this audience. The enemies attack every set sequence of time, I suppose. Okay. And you just gotta wait till the bar goes and. Do your thing. Right, so the faster the bar goes, which and the length the bar completes carries on the character's speed, I guess, right? The faster yeah. it goes, the more attack you get in. So here we have a, 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 a gang. Big Jesse. Chatting up. And what, what are they doing right now, Josh? It's trying to blow up. The Shinra building, and of course, what is the Shinra? What, what, they're trying to build the, the reactor, right? Right. Which is harvesting. What's it harvesting? Harvesting. Mako Energy. Mako Energy, which of course powers basically everything in the universe. So it's a big company. These guys are going to go in. They basically just want to blow up the big uh, engine. Yep. And just cause some havoc, right? Well, so, they don't want to cause havoc. Yeah, but they, they, want to, they, want to, they want to be disturbance, right? They want to mess Shinra yeah. up, right? The to save the planet. Well, we, we don't know that yet. We don't, from what we all know, at the moment, we're going in with fresh apples. They're just some guys who want to mess, mess things up, right? This is Garrett. 
the most important character in your season that you ever for who is this? The shot is a spooky head cloud. Thank you. Mark Hunch Joe, he uses. And also, that's also very Japanese esque. They got their characters are very. They got split characters. They get. Right? A lot of them do. Like, and not just video games, but in everything. Like, in Dragon Ball Z. In, yeah, shows. Shows, you know. They like those fighting games. They like those fighting games. It's kind of strange. Okay, so we got, we got another fight as well. Tell us how fights happen in the game. You just walk up and you just get fight and fight. Like that? It's, it's um, random. Random. Random encounters. So you got a guy with a huge sword walking around, and all of a sudden, the dude in, in this line thing just pop out of nowhere. Like, hey, we're gonna fight you. Come on, right, bring it on. Is that what happens? Is that how we know it? Let's do it. That's so cool. Very, very influential. I'll just kind of set the things up. Because, of course, many games adapt to that. Um, you know, Dragon Quest games. All those kind of types of dudes. Definitely types of dudes. Can you go... Oh, you're inside? No, I... Oh, sorry. Go inside, okay. Alright, okay. So we're inside. Are we inside the reactor yet? Not yet. Here we go. So there's the big reactor right there. We're following the rest of the group. There we are. We're inside. Okay. Here we go. This is, this is a big scene where we get to... We get to blow down. The so basically, we just explained how the harvesting Mako, which is basically what everyone uses, it's, I mean, you guess you can call it electricity. It's pretty much the same thing as that. Like that right? It's power stuff. Definitely, that you have power yeah. stuff. So. <laughs> okay. Alright, thanks for that, like, Josh. It's kind of like natural gas. Thanks for that two cents right there. So here we go, you gotta talk to her. Got that done. Yeah. Now, a lot of people, when they play this nowadays, they got they they got a big issue with how the background is kind of it's like a it's it's, it's two D, right? And your characters are three D, and so that you get to take a walk around on the flat surface, right? Right? I think it looks really great because it's, really, it's like detailed, hand drawn. Done. Really well done. You know, um, I think it's really what do you think about that? Yeah, I, I never knew it was hand drawn. That's pretty cool. It is cool, isn't it? Yeah, it's like really detailed. Doing, you know, like I said, Japanese developers they like to take their time to get really used to. Back in the SquareSoft knew what they were doing. Back in the glory days, SquareSoft knew what they're doing. Square Enix doesn't know the deal with it. Well, here's Barrett. He's mad. He's got a. He's got a. Mad. <laughs> He's always angry in this game. So finally, Barrett joins your party. Now you got two people in a group. How's that work? How's that work? Well, you just take turns between the two characters. So yeah, so now in the group, now you got, you got two characters fighting on time, both the one. And eventually we'll get three. That's correct. That's correct. Oh, cool. Here we go, we're gonna keep on going. Well, let me take that one. Here we go. Then we're gonna fight. And there's Barrett down there. Of course, his weapon of choice is the gun. It's not just any gun. We can't grab his gun. Gatling. The Gatling gun attached to his arm is not. To his arm, yeah. That is pretty cool, I guess. It's pretty badass. I think it's kind of funny that, you know, it's not just a gun. It's a, this is like it's a Gatling gun. It's big enough as is, and it attached to his arm. Yes. Like imagine how difficult it would be to have a Gatling gun attached to your arm. Well, I think it's tough. Then you just would have like, a stump there or something. I don't. know. Or does he actually have an arm in there? No, no. Does he have a hand inside the gambling gun? No. no, so if he takes it off, it's just like a stump. Yeah. <laughs> I guess so. Okay, so, alright. Here we go, we're going down the reactor. We got a group. Oh, we got another fight. What are we fighting with him, Josh? Well, it looks like two floating flowers and, um, something that looks like a water gun, uh, maybe? <laughs> like a little, uh, water. Gun. Yeah, yeah, it's like a little. Zapper. It looks like it just shot water at you, too. No, well, I think it was like lightning. Lightning. And he decided to go he shoot them down. He shoot he shot the water gun. Picked up the water gun. Nope. Okay. Cloud gun and shot it. Okay. Now he's dead. Is the game happy? Level up, level up. 
Okay, let's get the building. Let's get you ready to go up. I love when games, I love when they, they tell you to do something. Like, they'll say, push the A button to interact with this, you know what I mean? That's always kind of like, it's like in, uh, like in the first Big Mario game, Big Mario 64. Did you play that one, Josh? No. Yeah, it's like in that one. When you like gain directions from this character, and he's like, like imagine if you had an A button, you would push it to jump. <laughs> 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 but that's how it's like the game, like you kind of click in the fourth wall, they acknowledge the game. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that's always fun. It's kind of strange. It's very depth to the action. Here we go. Oh, that was right here again. We got an actual, we got a real enemy. No, no more flowers and stuff, right? We got to Zombie, the mechanical thing, and a real robot, look at this. Oh, you can use some magic. Bolts. Some Kick that guy's ass. MP. Well, here's some magic. First, here's some magic right there. Magic's quite powerful. It's not just during the army game, it's pretty much built the entire game into a job. Quite useful. Especially if you use uh, something that the enemy is weak against. Weak against. So, like, enemies are, they have weaknesses and sort of types of magic and whatnot. And then you get extra damage, right? Yes. Right. Can't you just jump down? No, no, I just can't go out. What? You should learn that. But you gotta look at it. Okay, alright, save point. Right, well, this is gonna be gonna the you. ending of our first part. Yeah. We will be back. We'll be back. More. Thanks for watching. This has been a Dusty Chink Gaming.